Hey, Ape students, it's Mr. Smeads, and I'm here with a quick walkthrough of our Google Classroom today. So I'm going to use the highlight function here to highlight some of the key features that you need to be aware of as you use Google Classroom for Apes this year. So the first thing here is the class banner. This is going to have some important information. Uh, the really important piece of information it has is our Google Meet. So this is the link that you use to join the video calls that we have for this class. So that means every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, if you're an at-home student on that day or a fully virtual student on that day, you need to come and actually click on this link to take attendance. So if you are in B hour, that means at nine o'clock at home on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you need to sign into Google Classroom and click this link right here, one for attendance, but two, so that you can actually see what we're doing in class in case it's something that we wanna do together. A lot of times it will just be Hey guys, good to see you. Do your flipped video notes for the day, complete the assignment. But certain days, it'll be really important that you're in that video so you can interact with your peers. Uh, other important information in the banner here, we have the office hours. So notice on Tuesday and Thursday from noon to one and also from two to three. Those office hours will also be held in this Google Meet. So you just come click on the link and I can answer individual questions you have. Sometimes we'll be doing group activities during those office hours, but this is a time for you to come get help Think of it as just like tutoring, but online. Then finally, we have my email address here. This is really important so that you can send me an email if you have a question, but we'll actually talk about an even better way to communicate with me in a second. Now notice here that on the stream, all we have is this very first announcement, which is the uh, survey that you'll fill out on the first day and the Google Meet that you need to join. It's the same link as you have up here. It's just down here to remind you. So in past years, everything has gone on the stream that your teacher posts. But this year, in order to make sure things are really well organized, you're gonna to have to go over to Classwork. So we'll click the Classwork tab here. And then what we'll see is we have all these different topics. So the class resources, this topic will always stay at the top of the Classwork tab here. Notice this has information for how to contact me. The best way to contact me is always to use Remind. So sign up for Remind on the first day of class and then use the app to message me whenever you have a question. I get a text alert and I get an email when you remind message me. So I'm much more likely to respond to you very quickly if you remind message me. You can also email me using my email right here. Uh, these are for matters that are a little bit less urgent. I don't reply quite as quickly to emails because I'm not always at my computer. Uh, and then you can always call me as well on my Google voice number, which is right here. This is best for outside of school hours. Obviously I probably won't answer my phone during the middle of the school day. And so that's best for outside of school hours. We'll continue the tour here with another really important class resource that we'll use quite a bit. And that is Zoom. The reason we'll use Zoom instead of Google Meets for a lot of our classes is because you can do breakout rooms in Zoom. So you guys can meet in a small group and discuss something. You can share back out in the group. So the Zoom link is always going to be here under the class resources. You'll need a password to get in. The password is Smeeds Apes, but it's right here. So you can always go find it. And you'll need to name yourself your actual name in Infinite Campus when you join Zoom. This is so that we prevent someone who's not actually in our class from joining Zoom. So if I see like, you know, soccer player 777 as your username on Zoom, I'm not going to let you in. But just name yourself your first name and your last name so I know it's actually you. Now, when it comes to actually completing your assignments for APES this year, everything that goes into Infinite Campus as a grade will always be an assignment. And this is the little icon for an assignment. So you can see that here. You can also always see your assignments by going back to the stream and looking at the upcoming work and clicking view all. So this is how you can see all upcoming assignments. These are things that will be graded. Another way to view your assignments is to click on the Google Calendar. And so the Google Calendar will show assignments that are due in APES this year in a calendar view. So you can look and say, hmm, what do I have to do today? So you can notice our first week is blank here. We'll have some assignments in there eventually. But for week two, we know that, all right, we have to do Edpuzzle 1.1 on Monday. And on Tuesday, we have to do the Biome Digital Notebook. So this is another way to check your assignments and stay on top of them. In addition to the assignments you need to complete, underneath each week, you'll find an agenda. And so we'll open the week one agenda. And this is your one-stop location to find all of the instructions and all of the links for everything you need to complete in a week. So when you open the presentation, once it loads, you can just click through the slides and they'll tell you exactly what to do for each day of class. 
So again, you can just scroll through these slides to see exactly what you need to do for each day in APES this year. So if we go down here, we'll see that on our very first day of class, we'll be doing some digital icebreakers. The little link icon shows you that you need to click on this and open up another link. And then we'll have our syllabus, we'll go through that. And then finally, at the end of each day, there will be an exit ticket. And the exit ticket will be linked right into the slides here. So you just click on this link here, and that takes you to the syllabus quiz on Google Classroom.